Backstage.com here. I'm sitting at Elton John's piano that he took on the African tour. Can you believe that? And tonight, some of our artists had a chance to try it out here at the Gibson Showroom. So for our last artist, a warm welcome, straight from Canada. We all know him, Sean Hulupal. Thank you, Julius. You haven't been to Florida, have you? No. I couldn't tell. Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver. I say Vancouver because I grew up in a small town, right. about eight hours east. You're backstage right now. How do you prepare for the live shows that you do? Usually, I go backstage and I like to think about the songs I'm going to play. And you know, most important thing for me though is engaging the audience. So sometimes I like to think. I put more emphasis on what I'm going to say between my oh, songs. Oh really? I like yeah. that. Because um, that way I'm not worried about the songs. I'm more concerned about what I'm saying, which is exactly. kind of funny. What effect do you want to have on the audience? I just want to engage people. I don't want them to be sitting there like, you know, paint on the wall. I want them to be like engaged with my performance. And usually you can capture that by being dynamic. So my goal is just to be as dyna dynamic as I can with my songs and hopefully take the audience for a little ride. Cool. What kind of uh, vibe would you say your uh, songs are going to bring? I think they're soulful, heartfelt, um, fun. Music's always been a constant uh, ever since, you know, ever since I was a kid. You know, my parents were into music. I was in the church singing, piano lessons. Um, but after high school, uh, I went to college, and music was still with me. And I was just, it, be, it grew. It became more than, you know, just a hobby. And I was like, I love this. And people, I can tell people around me were really affected by my performances. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot because. When I'm older, I don't want to regret not giving it a shot. So exactly. I guess, you know, when I was in college, that's kind nice. of like I got to pursue my craft. So. Yeah. 